The Best Teacher Ever by Mercer Mayer. Okay. I'm trying different ways to sync up the audio. Miss Kitty is my teacher. She is the best teacher ever. She reads us stories at story time and makes them fun. Sometimes she puts on a silly costume. Sometimes she brings special treats for just for us. She teaches math and makes it exciting. That's a big dress. I love That's the garage. We go on field trips and we sing songs on the bus. When we go to the zoo, she tells us all about the elephant animals. Did you know that elephants flap their ears and keep cool? I wish I could do that. I wanted to do something special for Miss Kitty on Teacher Appreciation Day. I asked Dad, what, what can I do? I went to Dad's shop to make her something really special. Dad showed me all his tools. Using them looked too hard. I, Mom took me to the mall. I went and found just the right present. Mom said, I don't think Miss Kitty would like a robot Critterzilla. Probably not, I said. But uh, I would. Please, Mom? No, Mom said. And Mom said, how about we bake something? I like that idea. We drove home. Mom made my favorite cake for Miss Kitty. I helped. I put my cake on the table in front of the hall so I wouldn't forget it in the morning. I was all set for Teacher Appreciation Day. I woke up early and ran downstairs, but my cake was on the floor. The dog had eaten most of it. Oh, that dog looks so scared. I bet Miss Kitty would love a big bouquet of flowers, said Mom. I quickly cut, she quickly cut a bunch from the garden. Then she wrapped a ribbon around them. There you go, she said. And hurry, the bus is almost here. I ran out the door with my bouquet of flowers for Miss Kitty. On the bus, everyone had big presents and big boxes wrapped in pretty bows. My present didn't look so good. I hid it under my seat. I almost got forgot to the classroom when I noticed that I forgot my flowers on the bus. The bus was leaving. Oh no, what am I going to do now? I ran to the back of the classroom. I got out my drawing pad and drew the quickest, bestest picture ever. When it was my turn, I walked to the front of the class. With everyone looking at me, I gave my picture to Miss Kitty. Scary? No, fearless. She smiled and put it up on her bulletin board. Mine was the only picture up there. What a great present for the best teacher ever. The end. Thank you for reading that story with me. Here, let's read another one, okay? Oh, this is a good one. No, oh, we should read this one to Marie, too. Ah, oh, we'll read it. The New Baby by Mercer Mayer. Here you be, big sister. Dad said, we have a new baby coming. She's coming home today. I got out my ball and bat and all of my favorite games to show the baby. I found my favorite picture book and read it out loud to the baby. But the new baby didn't pay any attention to me. She cried a lot, even when I told her the funniest joke. I made funny faces and she cried even louder. I tried to dress her, but she was too wiggly and floppy. Sometimes she smelled funny and mom had to change her. So what can you do with a new baby? Mom says we can cuddle her and rock her to sleep. Okay, 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 I'll stop. And we tickle her tummy and make her laugh. 
Are you ticklish? No? Stop tickling me, Daddy. What is your problem? You're not ticklish. There you go. You are ticklish. Or give her a rattle to play with. I can give her my finger to grab. And let her pull on my nose. I can take her on a walk and show her to my friends. Ah, uh, they think I'm so lucky. Thank you for reading with me. Okay, okay.